Welcome to Heavy Psych Sounds Festival here in Berlin, where I'm with uh, Giobia from Italy, or how do you say the band's name? Giobia. Giobia. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> so. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> so, first of all, how is it going tonight here in Berlin? We just arrived uh, at the moment, so I think it will be f very great. Yesterday we played also in a Vip Psych Sound uh, Festival in um, uh, Dresden, and it was uh, full of people uh, from eight. So I think uh, also tonight in Berlin will be a great night, for sure. And a lot, of a lot of time in Berlin, and every time, every time is uh, really perfect. Everything, and, and I'm we love to play in Germany <laughs> <laughs> every time. Yeah, it's uh, two gigs back to back here and rest, and yeah. and uh, the usual hectic uh, festival on top of that. So, uh, what are your thoughts about the Heavy Psych Sounds Festival here? I think uh, Gabriele from Heavy Psych Sounds um, really makes a great job because uh, more and more this festival it's uh, very very better anytime more so I think it's do a great job people are coming uh, what else? Uh, the stage are uh, great. Uh, the crowd is very passionate and warm. It's always nice to be at Ipsac Sounds Festival. Yeah, as you mentioned, you just arrived here in Berlin from uh, Dresden. So do you have any time to enjoy the festival and see other bands? Um, when you play, it's always <laughs> a little problematic uh, to enjoy all the bands who are playing, but uh, fortunately we, we know some of the bands, we like them, uh, especially Sonic Down. Uh, we are uh, often uh, touring uh, with or uh, meeting uh, with them, and um, I think uh, the band are great. Maybe tonight uh, we'll see more uh, <laughs> bands, but you know, not all the concert because we need to prepare ourselves, uh, drink a little bit, uh, <laughs> say hello to our friends are coming. But when you play early in the evening, uh, it's easier to join the bands playing after you. But when you play late at night as a liner or straight before the liner, it's more difficult because you have to prepare yourself for the gig, so you can't have much time to enjoy your bands. Okay, and uh, how was the concert yesterday in Dresden? And um, it more generally, what makes a good uh, uh, Giobia gig? <laughs> Um, the venue was very crowded from the very beginning and that was good because when you see that there is a good crowd uh, you feel very excited to play and um, in the end it was even more crowded and we felt very 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 good you know very excited to play and it was so cool mm -hmm. also the sounds uh, on the stage was perfect Really was a once per one perfect concert yesterday. I hope also tonight. Okay, uh, let's go to your music. Uh, how would you describe your own music? Because you know, just stating that it's acid rock doesn't really tell that much. Since the very beginning, uh, uh, Jobia are very bounded to psycho rock. This is the element constant in time, and uh, they are also influenced by um, uh, ethnic music, crowd rock, and they have many influences. But 
the psychedelic side, psychedelic rock, um, it's something that uh, never changes in their music. Every album is different somehow, uh, but I'll, um, anytime bounded to psych rock. Okay, and uh, where do your inspirations come from for your music and your visuals? At the half of the 90s, probably, the, the band of the Delirium Records from the UK, from London, uh, from this band is uh, the, of the this label of Delirium it are Ozric Tentacles, Porcupine Tree, Ship of Fools. The probably the that this area, this era. To to start. Yeah. This is, yeah. And the Kaleidoscope from the USA. They use a lot of ethnic instruments and mix a lot of parts of the psychedelic country music. And yep. Badzu also plays buzuki and sitar sometimes, and he took inspiration from these bands you mentioned. Okay, uh, your album Plasmatic Idol is coming out next year in February. So, what can you tell me about that album? First of all, uh, can I say something that maybe can interest in, uh, people tonight? Uh, we, um, we will play one song, the first song, uh, from this album tonight. So you can um, have a little uh, preview. preview. Uh, this album is um, a little bit focused on prog rock as well, so it's a little bit different from the previous one. It's more prog. Prog rock from Italy, from the old uh, style, uh, like a Goblin, uh, Osanna, and... Everything from um, our culture, from the past, um, is into this album somehow. Music soundtrack. Uh, okay, uh, how finished is the album? Is it uh, already complete or...? Uh yeah, it is. Yeah, of course. Uh, we have a lot of uh, <laughs> vinyls at home right now. But we can sell them <laughs> right now. We have to wait. Uh, you can buy in uh, the album, but uh, just in February you can buy it from us. So, but the album is finished, <laughs> of course. Okay, so uh, how was the creative process and the recording? of this album. It took around one year for the recordings. And mixing and everything. Yeah, mixing and mastering, yeah. Because we play a lot in uh, in, in Europe and the Ultimi Fatranica, as we said. The last during the last four years. And during the last four years, yeah. We play so much around the Europe that so it talks a lot uh, to focus uh, in the album, but uh, we've done. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to stop touring and doing concerts when you have to do recordings, you know, because you receive proposals for playing and you want to go, but you know that you also need to stop to, for the recordings. So it takes a long time. Um, about the creative process, um, Badzu actually is the composer, the kind of mind of the band. And um, we recorded a lot of tracks, but uh, not everyone was included in um, the album, actually. Yeah, probably um, this one is the most uh, mature album. Uh, we've done so far and um, also from the technical side and we try to do something different something something new somehow yeah we were very inspired and uh, 
where I am very happy and satisfied about uh, how the, um, the album sounds. And um, the, um, Brett Orton from um, Black Angels uh, do the, did the mastering in uh, Austin, Texas. And um, yeah, it took care of, uh, of everything. It, um, in the final uh, uh, part of the work, mm. uh, I do the master, final mastering and the mixing. So at the end, uh, I, we think uh, the work is perfect for us. We hope so. Okay, and uh, what else does uh, next year hold for you? Then the album comes out in February, and uh, what's the plan after that? We have two uh, tour in uh, Europe. One one's in February, March. and uh, March, yeah, the end of February, March, and the second in uh, May. And um, that's all. I think we will play a lot live. A uh, lot of uh, festivals in next summer. We hope to. We, hope. <laughs> we have uh, probably we have uh, some festival. Uh, my, I hope uh, more festival come when the album uh, release. Yeah, I think it's pretty early to say something about it. <laughs> okay, thank you so much and uh, break a leg tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks thank you. Lot.